Okay, so now what we're going to do is take a look at um, installing the DCC sound module. So as I mentioned, there's this um, area on the roof here, and there's actually two separate uh, sections that can be removed, and uh, one which will expose the dip switches, uh, these guys here, if you're for the lighting uh, control, and then there's a larger piece which comes out and exposes the DCC socket. Um, with this particular locomotive, we're going to be running with the 567 decoder. Uh, that's that's would fit with uh, with this particular model, and um, the 127 actually has uh, the other alternative sound, which would be the um, the 645. So uh, I'll cover that in a separate video. But today we're going to cover with the 567 in in this particular unit. Um, if you go onto the Murphy Models website, they do give you a, a, a further sheet. You do get um, the basic sounds on the back of, of, of this. Uh, but there is a sheet on the website, and I'll put a, a link in the description, uh, which uh, talks a little bit more detail about the sound and the sound functions and, and how to uh, use them. And there's the full list of, of sound functions there. And again, as I said, I'll put a link in the description to this. Um, there is a mention of... Um, a video to show you how to open up the uh, DCC socket. I haven't seen that, uh, so we're going to just do it now, and uh, and I'll show you uh, how I've actually used it. So I'm just going to ease up this front piece here. Let's hold the model securely, and we're just going to ease this guy up. There we go. And we're. And this is the one that would expose the uh, the middle socket. Could use a tool for it, but uh, I don't actually need one. Um, and there that comes off like that so now if you take a look in there uh, you'll see a very small dip switch uh, there's a plastic cover on it, on it at the moment you have to take that off if you want to uh, adjust the switches I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to use DCC so I don't need to worry about that but if that's what you were doing you, you would take off the plastic covering there probably you need to find a, a very small jeweler screwdriver probably would be best and uh, and then uh, allow you to manipulate the switches they are really small so you will need a tool, you won't be able to do that with your fingers. So the next thing I want to do is remove the, the larger piece. So I'm just going to hold the model down here and ease this up on either side. And it does come up pretty easy, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on this. And the same on the back side. And there we go. And again, that exposes uh, the DCC socket. And you can see there's the, the normal kind of blanking plate installed right now. Okay. So uh, we're going to, um, we're now going to remove this and we're going to install uh, the, the actual decoder, okay? Okay, so now we're going to uh, look to remove the, uh, the blanking plate that's in there. So I'm actually using the tool uh, that comes with the 201's locomo uh, 201 locomotives uh, for removing the top plate on those because it's a plastic tool. I don't want to damage anything here. So I just want to ease this guy up and uh, allow him to be removed. So just be careful because there's lots of little delicate parts here. So uh, we're just going to ease him up on either side. And there isn't an awful lot to uh, grab hold of here, so you're just going to have to be patient and be gentle. Put the finger in there and try to ease up on either side here. And I think we're nearly there. Okay. There we go. She's just going to come out. Okay. So you can see where the pin one is up here on the top. So we're going to get our controller. I'll keep that to one side. Okay. And so we want to get our pin one here. I and mean, you can see that's the, the pin one location because it's been uh, blanked out. So we're going to want to install him this way. So we want to ease this guy in here. Uh, there are some, some wires in the, 
in this area of the, the cab. So you don't want to damage those wires or do anything to them. So you just need to push them back a little bit and get this guy into position. So it is a tight enough fit there. I think we're nearly there. So we just line this guy up with the pins. There we go. And then you can feel them slot into place and then we can uh, just press down. Okay. So that's uh, that's our decoder installed. So we just reverse the process and just make sure you install this guy, keep the orientation correct, same direction he was taken off. Put him back in there, you can see that fits quite neatly. And the same with, with this piece. Come back in. All right, there we go.